this is Alec from Get Big Pack Ready. Here we're going through the second part of Cock the North with embellishments and a bit of music theory. So that's how it goes. And I do have a whole free workshop on this. There's lessons without embellishments. Uh, there's the sheet music, if you just want to grab that, or if you want some easier lessons. And here we're doing the second part. So it, it starts off on the E up to high A. And I'm, I'm not going to walk through where to put your fingers on the holes and how to transition from one note to another note. I go through all that in the first two lessons. So definitely check that out if you're needing that. So that's, that's, that's our first embellishment from the E to the F. And we're doing a G grace note. So that's that G grace note from E to F. So to do that G grace note, we have to lift up the top finger of the top hand first. The middle finger lifts up and then that top finger snaps back down. So that's the first grace note. And the second bar is the exact same as the first bar. So those two bars are the same. And I did mention in the in the last video for the music theory bit, I, I talk a little bit on, well, how do you know what note is what note? So in music, notes have letters. We give them letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. So after G, it goes right back to A. There's no letters after G. It's always G and then after G, it repeats to A. So that's gonna help us out. So we know for bagpipes, um, hopefully you can, see my screen here. We know for bagpipes it's on the treble clef, which is good because I know nothing about the bass clef. <laughs> so we're on the treble clef, so that's good. The lines, our first line is E, and there's a little saying going up the line so you can remember. So the first line is E, every good boy deserves fudge. So that means fudge, F is our top line. So that's our F on the top line. And our bottom line is E, if we're following that an acronym, every good boy deserves fudge. So quickly, we can see fudge, last line. So this note, this third note in the first bar is an F. And we can uh, see if we go to bar three. Oh, what's this? This note here. This note is one, two, three lines up. Every good boy, that's a B. So three lines up is a B. Every good boy deserves fudge. So. Those are the letters that an acronym that you can you can uh, remember the the going up, and then there's a, also in the spaces between the notes F A C E. It spells face. So we know looking at this note face, the last one is a is a E. So the the last one here, the last space. In it going up the going up the spaces between the lines is an E, so we know this is an E. And if we look to that third bar, this the one, two, three, three spaces up, we know that's a C if we spell face F A C E. So we know that one is a C. So that's a that's a kind of a quick way to to remember it. You also uh, hopefully you're already seeing the pattern. If you count from the the line every Good boy deserves fudge, those are the lines. But if you just go up from the line to the space, it's E, F, um, and then we have our low G for pipes. G is on the line, and then it goes right back to A, as we talked about, and it goes, so it goes all the way up, just going up the alphabet. So that'd be another way to think of it. I learned that every good boy deserves fudge in the face, so that's, that's how my mind works. But you might wanna just start, count the line and the space is going up, it just goes up the alphabet. But again, um, the, we, we don't draw the lines, but there are lines, these, these lines keep going up. We just don't draw them, we just draw the five lines in music, but the lines keep going up. So when we have a note sitting on top of the line, which we don't have in this, on top of the top line, a note sitting there, that's the G because we know the, the top line is F after F is G in the alphabets. We know that's a G that sits on the top line and what's after G is A, right? I mentioned <laughs> I mentioned earlier, music always ends on G and restarts on A. So 
The, the next line note, which is our high A, that's why we draw a line through it. It tells us it's on the line, even though that line isn't drawn in the music, we just draw it on the note. So we know how high up that note is. So that's our A, that's our high A. So I'll just get rid of a few of these scribbles and we'll move on to the second, the, or, or the third, the third, uh, the third line here, the third part, I should say, the third bar, I should say the third bar. So that third bar, it's a little bit different than the first two, that's for sure. But you know what? It's the exact same as bar three in lines one and two. And so I'm not going to review that. And even the embellishments, I'm not going to review because because I did that in in the lesson right before this. And again, you can you can get that in the workshop. And moving on to bar four. So bar four, have we done that one before? Uh, da, 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 da. No, we haven't. So let's talk about bar four a, bit, a little bit. So we're coming off the low A in bar three. So we need a big fat, big fat G grace note. Top finger of the top hand lifts up. We're in the low A position already on the bottom hand. Top finger lifts up. We switch to our C, lift up those middle two fingers. Top finger snaps down. And then that next embellishment is just a B strike. So we drop down to B and now we just, those uh, bottom two fingers cover their holes, come right back up again. So that's what that, that's what that little embellishment here is. And we can tell because it's on the low G, that embellishment is telling us you need to play a low G. Uh, so that's how we play the low G by striking down with those two fingers and then boom, we're right back on the B. And let's talk a little bit about timing before we get to the last line. So as we see here, I talked about the note tree last time, so I'm not going to go through that a ton, but we know that this pickup note is an eighth note, uh, the next note's a quarter note, and next note's an eighth note, and then a quarter note, and then an eighth note. And we know it's a six eight. I'm not going to go talk about that too much because I did in the last video, but we know we have a dotted quarter note making up three beats and then another dotted quarter note making up three beats. And in this case, that dotted quarter note is split up into a normal quarter note plus an eighth note. And they're separated out into two different notes. And, it, and then we, we have the same thing again, quarter note, eighth note. So we know that eighth note is half of the quarter note, half, half the length of the quarter note. So how we would count this, it is in six, eight, so yes, there is six beats in a bar, but as we talked about, it's just easier if it's if it's a little bit quicker song, it's easier to count it in in kind of one, two, one, two, like so one, one and two and would be how we count this. So let me explain that. The quarter note gets a one, it's the first downbeat. The the eighth note gets an and or a plus as it's commonly written. The next quarter note gets a two. It's a downbeat, and then we have another and. So we have one and two and, one and two and. And typically we, we clap the downbeats, one and two and. So that's how we would count that bar. If we're going to do the pickup note, guess what? The pickup note is an and, so it's a plus. And one and two and one and two and one and two e and one two. oh yeah let's talk about that so it's the same so we have one and two this is where my paint skills <laughs> pay off two e and so now we have that's supposed to be a plus sign <laughs> okay now we have this little grouping of three eighth notes so we have three eighth notes in the same span as a dotted quarter note. So those eighth notes are going to sound like one, two, three, two E, two E and, two E and, da, 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 da. So we have, going back to the start of the line, and one, and two, and one, 
and two and one and two e and one and two and one and two and you heard i did that that last bar it's the same timing pattern as the first two bars different notes they're different points on the staff but you know what notes they are because i told you every good boy deserves fudge and i told you face um so you know what notes they are but they're the same timing one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two e and one and two so so that's our our last line dotted quarter note and then and then in theory it would be a another dotted quarter note um in theory but but i've written it that way and then you would typically jump up to the start of the song again so it um because we're we're missing an eighth note here but that eighth note is up here at the start of the song so probably i should write that differently or else <laughs> Or else you'll be stuck playing Cock of the North forever and ever. And so, uh, so yes, um, if, if you caught that, good eye. And I just caught that now. So let's get rid of a few scribbles and then we'll talk about the last line here. Well, I'll play the first line of the second part and then the last line. So that last line, again, the third bar is the same as it's been all song. We don't have to talk about it. This, this last bar is the same as the last bar in the second line. So boom, you're good there. Um, just, to, just to highlight what I probably will do in my sheet music is I'll have a first ending and a second ending. The first ending, this burl will be a quarter note, the burl right before the quarter note. And then we still need an eighth note, but guess what? That eighth note happens at the start of this, this line, because we're repeating. So, oh, there's the missing eighth note. So then we still have our down beat of one happening here. So I'll probably do another second ending, just so it's not confusing. Um, and that second ending, this will be a dotted quarter note. So that, that gives us all the beats we need in that bar, and it's, it's all done. Um, and that, that last bar, really, I guess there's no and. I, I counted as and, but really it's just counted as one, two. Uh, it's just one, two. There's no one and two and one, right? We don't have those eighth notes. We just have a dotted quarter note, dotted quarter note. So it's just counted one, two. Happy piping!